Next on Cooking Raw, we go Italian. Zucchini spaghetti with marinara sauce and a relaxing kale salad. Stay with us. Fiber. Hey y'all, my name is Caroline. I'm a certified raw food chef. And standing next to me is my absolutely gorgeous daughter, Shanita. And she's also my sous chef. Mm -hmm. We welcome you to Raw Cooking. Now I know some of you are probably asking, Caroline, what is raw cooking? Well, let me tell you. In raw cooking, we use fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts, and whole grains to create delicious dishes that are also healthy and they are cost effective and easy to prepare as well. True that. So we are going to show you how to make three pasta dishes using, voila, zucchini. Uh, our first dish is herb zucchini. We are going to use, again, zucchini. We have some fresh basil, fresh parsley, oregano, sea salt, turmeric, Italian seasoning, Mrs. Dash spe uh, spicy seasoning, uh, fresh garlic, thyme, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and red onion, and of course, um, extra virgin olive oil. Now, to make our pasta, I have this machine that is called a spiralizer. And what it is going to do, it is going to take our zucchini and make it come out looking just like pasta. Now. If some of you do not have a sterilizer at home, you can always use your potato pillar, your potato pillar, to grate your zucchini. So, Shanita, let's get started. Okay. So, if you would please, as I sterilize, if you would then grate. Sure. Okay. So, first, what I'm going to do. I am going to take the zucchini and cut off both ends. Then I am going to slice it down the middle. Okay, take the zucchini, put it in the spiralizer. Always put it in this way. Da -da -da. Push in the little spikes and then just turn. Can you see this, guys? How are you doing, Shanita? I'm doing pretty good. They're coming awesome. out in nice, thin strips. Most definitely. So one of the things that I found out about, about zucchini is that um, it actually developed from wild zucchini that originates in the area between uh, Mexico and Guatemala. Mm -hmm. And for over 10,000 years, humans have actually been eating uh, summer squash. Wow. Yes, but uh, they were cultivated for their seeds because the wild summer squash, uh, the flesh in the, the wild summer squash was very bitter and there was very limited flesh in it. So mm -hmm. they were cultivated for the seeds. So when uh, Europeans, specifically the Portuguese and the Spanish came over to the new world or the, the world that was new to them, uh, the people that were native to that land introduced the explorers uh, to wild summer squash and then uh, the Spanish and the Portuguese then took the zucchini and the other summer squash back to Europe and that led to greater cultivation of the vegetable and proliferation throughout the world. Awesome. Yeah. That is very interesting. So thank you for that history on zucchini. Sure. What I'm doing now is I'm also going to add some parsley and I'm just chopping it up a little bit. Fresh parsley. One of the things I really do love about eating and preparing um, raw dishes or food in its natural state is that you, it's number one, the aroma is absolutely um, amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Yes. And 
There you go, some fresh parsley in there. I'm gonna also grate, while you're doing that, I am going to also chop some fresh basil. Chop this up. Now, how easy is this, people? Not very hard. And remember, if you don't have fresh basil or fresh parsley, you can always, you can always use uh, dried parsley or dried basil as well. Most definitely. Or whatever seasoning or herbs or spices you might have in your home. You don't have to go out there and buy all of these um, special ingredients that you'll never use. Most of us have some type of basil in our house. Is this good enough? Yep, that is perfect. I love that. I'm gonna do that. And would you also um, peel and give me some thin strips of red onion? Sure. So mom, how did you come up with this dish? Well, you know, actually, I love uh, pasta marinara. That's a dish that I'm going to uh, make as well. And um, I did not have any uh, tomatoes. So, but I still, I love zucchini. And uh, so I just look, use the spices in my kitchen. And this is what I had. It's a recipe my mother did with cooked pasta and uh, it was really good, so here it is, voila. And here's some grated or crushed garlic. Oh, that smells really good. The garlic actually adds such a nice flavor and smell to this dish. Yes, and I'm just gonna use two cloves. It's up to you if you want more, add more. Mm. Put that in there. Da -da -da. And I really love my spices. Now listen, if you do not have um, any of these um, spices, just use what you have in your kitchen. Did I say that already? Yes, but it doesn't hurt to repeat it. That's right. <laughs> here that is. I love spice. And here's some also a little bit of herb Italian seasoning that's dry. Mm -hmm. A little bit of thyme, and we're going to take some of this thyme and just roll it in there. Well, well, I'm not. I'm going to chop some of this up as well. Another good thing about this dish is that you can actually keep it in your refrigerator for several days. So, mm -hmm. uh, if you're like me, who like I like to make big dishes that I can eat throughout the week. So this is a perfect dish that I can make on, say, a Monday, and it'll last me throughout the week. Um, I think it's easy to do, and like I said, it's healthy, and an easy way to uh, make some cost-effective dishes as well. A little sea salt. Do you want me to go ahead and add in the... Yes, please do. I think they might be a little bit too big for your style, but they'll work. <laughs> For your style. <laughs> work. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Okay. A little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And if you want, um, here's some turmeric and a little bit of turmeric. I love turmeric. It is a um, great antioxidant. Great source of beta carotene. Most definitely. Adds a little more color. And some extra virgin olive oil. Going to spread some of that, maybe a teaspoon or two. Okay. Then we're going to toss. Wow. Now beautiful that is color. beautiful. Yeah. It is red absolutely and the green. beautiful. Looks really good. And all of your nutrients are still intact. Wow. Now let's taste. All right. Okay. Just a little saucer. A little saucer. And one of the things I did forget, when you have, when you're using the spiralizer, you see that 
these pasta come out very long. Mm -hmm. So let's just use the scissors to, oops, oops, to chop it, okay. to cut it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Might be easier if we just use our hands, our fingers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, there that is. And go right ahead. And put a few little onions on there. Grab a fork. Grab a fork. You go first. Okay, I will. <laughs> it's not and good. <laughs> okay. These onions could have been chopped down just a little bit smaller, but that's why you're the sushi. That's right. Still learning. A work mm. in progress. Mm. Mm. I might add a little bit of pepper to it and some cayenne because I like really, really spicy foods. Mm. But it's very good. Mm -hmm. like that too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious to me. I would probably add a little bit more seasoning too, but because I'm a, I love spice spicy food. But this is absolutely delicious. And what you can do, you take this and um, add or delete whatever you would like. Add tomatoes. Add tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yes. We've been eating raw food since we've been on this planet. And so the new food is really the cooked food, if, if you really want to, you know, look at history. So raw food is actually something that man evolved to eat. He's really meant to eat some raw food, and raw food tends to be pretty nutritious. And I think there's just kind of been this whole renaissance feeling that people have, kind of going back to the basics. It's predicated on a concept that, that people's systems really evolved before there was cooked food and work best on food that isn't cooked. Uh, food that has come up, you know, not too far above body temperature is raw food. Uh, people feel that that's, that's the ideal. In raw food, the majority of it anyway, you are, you are keeping your vitamins, your minerals, your enzymes intact. As soon as you cook food, you are going to lose enzymes, you are going to lose vitamins, and you alter the minerals, and so they may not be absorbed or utilized as well. So in eating raw food, you are maintaining that vitamin content. You're maintaining those enzymes. And while the human body does produce enzymes to digest our food, as we, we know that by the age of 40, our capacity to produce enzymes starts to decrease. And so we're not going to be able to digest our food as well. One of the theories is that food is only as good as what is digested. So if you're not digesting your food, you're really not going to be able to break it down into its components, and you're not going to be able to utilize it. People are looking to eat healthier because they're starting to care about themselves. And I think they're starting to realize what, what good taste is and how that can be a benefit to their bodies as well as their communities. And I think being able to know that you're eating healthy and know that you're eating locally and shopping locally, I think has really become important. And maybe we notice that because we're in a small town and we have a great farmer's market. I think there's a real hunger for that kind of food, that our food that is very healthy, it tastes good going down, full of flavor, and when you read the ingredients and you understand where it's coming from, you know that it's healthy and you're surprised that it tastes good. And it can be so satisfying and healthy at the same time. I realize how important food is and whole foods and real food. And so I have a whole bunch of stuff in my mind that I really want to create um, to keep me healthy and others too. So the next dish that we're going to make is pasta marinara. And in order to do that, we're going to make our own pasta sauce. So the ingredients that are included in the pasta sauce are sun-dried tomatoes, green peppers, red onions, garlic, a vegetable, pro a vegetable protein, which is a seasoning that can be used as a su substitute for salt, red peppers, extra virgin olive oil, celery, majol dates, freshly squeezed lemon juice, sea salt, 
some fresh basil, fresh oregano, Roma tomatoes, and a little bit of Mrs. Dash extra spicy seasoning. So the first thing that we need to do is to chop up the Roma tomatoes, and I'm gonna pass these over to my mom so she can chop these up for us. Okay. And then just to get started with the dish, we're going to add the uh, sun-dried tomatoes to our food processor. This is probably about, what? About a cup and a half, two cups. A cup cups. and a half of the, the sun-dried tomatoes. They have been soaked for uh, about two or three hours just to um, soften them up a little bit. And you also get the um, juice from the uh, tomatoes as well. Okay. And so what I'm doing, I am um, slicing these tomatoes and removing the inner core. And this takes some of the acidity out of our uh, marinara sauce. Okay, so I've added about maybe a cup of green tomatoes, or excuse me, green peppers. And this is probably about a cup of red onions. Mm -hmm. What I love about cooking raw is that, number one, if you look at all of the different colors, that is something that our doctors and nutritionists tell us that we should do when we're eating fresh fruits and vegetables, and that is to eat a rainbow of, um, of, of different uh, fruits. Make sure that they cover all of the colors. So we have something that's red, something that's green, um, white, brown, in there. And they're absolutely filled with a lot of nutrients. I know when I first started um, eating foods in its natural state, I loved it because it, taste, it tasted really good. But I also found that it was very filling. When I was um, normally the standard American diet, I could eat two or three plates, um, very obese, and then um, eating this way, integrating raw foods into my um, diet, into my lifestyle, I lost over 80 pounds. And what I found was that my, I was actually feeding my cells all these nutrients that this fresh food that is also called living food, it helped feed, feed my cell. And so instead of me saying, I'm hungry for another big piece of steak or roast or whatever, my body was saying, oh, I'm satisfied, I'm full. And for the first time in my life, I was able to, on my own, just walk away from the table. And I think that's because the fresh fruits and vegetables, they're very, very dense. It mm -hmm. has the, the fiber in it, and it actually fills up our cells so that we're not hungry from our food, a lot of times what we do is we cook out the ingredients, we cook out the nutrients and the vitamins in our food, so we're constantly hungry. But with this food in its natural state, you're getting all the fiber, you're getting all the vitamin C, you're getting all the calcium, you're getting all the protein that our cells need, our bodies need to feel healthy and full. Most definitely. So did you remember to put garlic in there? I put garlic. about three cloves of garlic. Mm -hmm. Um, about three to four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and about a tablespoon of the vegetable protein. Okay. And then you added about what, a cup or two about a of cup. the Roma tomatoes? Yeah, Roma tomatoes. And it looks like to me, for me, I like a little bit more of that spiciness. Okay. So I'm going to add about a pinch. I think I probably add about four pinches of the Mrs. Dash extra spicy seasoning. Okay. So let's blend. So we're just going to pulse this a few times. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is that good enough? Let's see. Let me see. Mm, number one, it smells absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Nice and thick and chunky. Nice, thick, and chunky. But I really do need to taste. Let me taste. Mm. That's very good. It is really good. You want to just, let's just pulse a couple more times. Okay. 
perfect. Perfect. And there you have it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to plate our marinara sauce on top of our zucchini. Yes. So maybe we should just get a spoon and scoop yep. it in there. Yep. Here we go. Mm -hmm. There you go. And again, you can have this warmed if you want to. Just pop this in a microwave or go ahead and saute the um, zucchini or boil or warm up the the marinara sauce on top of your stove top and there you go. So let's just taste this with our um, zucchini. Sure. And your fork is right over there. My fork is right over here. And we're going to take a little bit. Wow. Let's just pull these scissors off a little bit to cut some of the there now. Yep. There you go. So I'm going to take a little bit. You take a little bit. Mm. Delicious. Very good. Mm -hmm. Our last and final dish will be a kale salad. We're using two different types of kale, lacinato kale, curly kale, fresh squeezed orange juice, raw walnuts, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and a Granny Smith apple. So what I've already done is um, chop some of the kale up. And while I show you how I did it, how I removed the kale from the stem, I'm going to allow Shanita to take this Granny, S Granny Smith apple and um, grate it for me. Lacinata kale, see here it is, has this huge stem and just remove the leaf and the same thing for the curly kale. Just remove the green leafy vegetable from the stem. We don't want the stem because the stem is very bitter. So then what I did is that you take both the lacinato and the curly kale and just tightly roll it tightly roll it so it's just really tight, right? Take your knife and then you begin to cut it in thin strips like this. And if you don't have access to those two types of kale, just use one. It's fine to use um, the curly kale only in this dish as well. Most definitely. So here's the fun part for me, especially if you had a rough day and you're stressed out and you want to um, de-stress, start massaging this kale. And what this does is begins to break down the fiber, makes the kale a little bit more tender. And you notice that the kale begins to turn this very deep green, forest green color. This is very therapeutic. Is that good? Yep, that is very good. One of the ingredients that I'm missing that I forgot um, are the raisins. And so make sure you have maybe like about a, a fourth cup of raisins to add to this. It's very, very delicious. Okay. All right. So okay. you want to go ahead and add the orange juice and the lemon juice? I do. I do. Okay, there it is. And I would just massage that for maybe like a minute or so. Fresh squeezed lemon juice. I'm sorry. This is orange juice. And maybe like about a teaspoon or so of the lemon juice. I'm going to add our shredded apples. Mm -hmm. Smith apples. And to top all of that off, we're going to add some walnuts. This is actually a complete meal. It has fiber. What else does it have? It has protein. It has calcium. It has everything that our body requires to stay healthy. 
and don't forget to add your raisins. Now she need a less taste. Get a fork? Don't have a fork. We don't have a <laughs> fork. So listen, we're going to do this like we at home. Use our fingers and hand. Put some of that in there. There you go. My. Mm. Very good. Tart but sweet. Mm -hmm. A lot of different textures too. Absolutely delicious. So today we made some delicious dishes for you. We made the marinara sauce, spaghetti using zucchini. We also made a kale salad. Shanita and I enjoyed making these dishes for you today. And we invite you to join us again next week. Remember, go to mptv.org and click on local shows to get these recipes. We thank you for watching and we'll see you again next week. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Caroline the mom. And I'm Shanita the daughter. Join us this week on Cooking Raw as we bring you some Italian standards, all made without heat. We'll make you some spaghetti using zucchini. And create a zesty.